It's the stuff of science fiction, using robots as part of our daily lives, or is it? I've come to Inarobo, Leon's annual conference about robotic innovation, to find out. Hi, I am Liam C. Welcome to Inarobo. The conference brings together the latest innovations in robotics, from domestic, educational and even industrial robots. This is the latest evolution in telepresence and offers remote access for people to attend events and interact with others from the comfort of their home. We use it in different markets like education for remote students. We use it in museums for to visit any museum in the world, events like today, and also healthcare for elderly people to have such social relationship. This is Buddy. He offers education for children, especially those with autism who find it difficult to interact socially. He also provides home surveillance. Buddy is expected to hit the market by the end of 2014 with a price tag of around a thousand euros. But beyond personal services, robotics is transforming industries. They are being put to work in medicine, agriculture, logistics, manufacturing and the military. This robot started life as a military prototype designed to carry heavy weights. Now it's become a civilian strength assistance machine. It can withstand weights of up to 40 kilograms and the developer said it could be used in the production of cars. This machine was designed for warehouse security. The robot does patrols indoor warehouses and it can detect and alert when something wrong happened in the warehouse and then send information to the tele-surveillance agency and that can control what's happened in the warehouse and then alert the police so the police can act into the warehouse. But why is the development of robots so important? I think it's important to challenge the creativity of technicians uh, to, to solve real problems. And we have real problems in manufacturing, we have real problems in electronics, we have real problems in products that we already have. And there's a technological solution on the horizon. There's software technology as well as mechanical technology, and the blend of them is robotics and automation. Inarobo has witnessed a real development of robots over the four years it's been holding conferences from the prototype stage to machines that can now be used commercially and gives a very real insight into what we might expect the future to look like. Jenny Hammond, The New Economy, Lyon. Goodbye. See you soon.